affected by the Grenfell Tower fire wants to give 30 more families free holidays in the county next month. Cornwall Hugs Grenfell asks tourism businesses to donate accommodation, food and experiences to the firefighters and residents who've been left traumatised by the devastating fire earlier this summer. Well, reporter Cathy Wardle is at Pottery for us tonight. Cathy, 60 families came to Falmouth in August. This is clearly something that's been well received, isn't it? Yes, by the end of this year, 200 Grenfell Tower families and firefighters will have taken free holidays in Cornwall. And these are not just holidays. Whilst they've been here, they've been having things like music therapy and art therapy to help them cope with what they've experienced. And I've been finding out just what a difference those holidays have been making. It just helps us forget about everything. Like having fun with my mum. I've never seen my mum that excited before. I felt, felt, felt myself unwind immediately. The knots in my shoulders, the rocks on my shoulders dissipated. The voices of just some of the Grenfell Tower families who've holidayed in Falmouth this summer. Now Cornwall Hugs Grenfell founder Esme Page is hoping to do the same in October half term. We've got a lot of families that really want to come down and I, I so understand that because they're stuck in hotel rooms, the nights are drawing in, um, it's getting darker and there's a lot less to do outside. They just want to get away from the tower basically. Ten families have been offered free accommodation in October so far and more is needed. We've got another 20 families we'd like to place and particularly we need coastal properties where you don't need a car. Sean Catron lets out apartments in Marazion and has already had a Grenfell firefighter and his family to stay. It's not that hard to leave, you know, one week aside, you know, to have somebody to come and stay. Um, and I think um, it, it makes such a difference, I think, to the people coming down just to give them a little, a little break. And I think now that I've seen the scheme, how it works and everything, I would definitely recommend other people to give it a go. Paddleboard instructor Lawrence Smith has been offering free lessons to Grenfell Tower families. With one um, family, a mum and her daughter, we went out, um, learnt how to paddleboard, and then very soon they were doing um, yoga on the paddleboards and just chilling out and just soaking up the uh, sort of nurturing aspect of being on the water. Cornwall Hugs Grenfell is appealing for more help from local businesses so that families coming in October can also experience Cornwall's gentle ability to heal. So, Cathy, we've heard some of the amazing stories there, and we've seen some of the people enjoying themselves. You mentioned more holidays perhaps in the October half term. What about later this winter? Well, Cornwall Hugs Grenfell would also like to hear from businesses here on Cornwall's north coast. They want pledges for a group who want to come on holiday in November. Now, that group are going to be staying in Porth Tower, so anything as close to that area as possible is best. Now, it could be surf lessons, it could be pasties, meals out, even riding lessons. Anything that's going to make those holidays as memorable as possible. Okay, Cathy Wardle in Portreath for us tonight. Thank you.